Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. I've got some foreign exchange charts I'd like to go through with you today. I'm going to start with Euro dollar. A small bullish white soldier yesterday as the reaction to the recent bearishness. It's not enough yet to be called a tweezer bottom, but we have had a follow-on higher today so far. I suppose that's not surprising as we've had little topside until we reach the medium moving average which is currently at 112.48 and the very recent 50% Fibonacci line at 112.61. Looking back, I note that we only made the one close over the 50% Fibonacci line, one to remember should we get back up there again. Nothing's changed in the idea put forward of a big head and shoulders top formed over 2017-2018 that I've been carping on about for ages and ages. This is the one with target X in the 104.85 area. The next chart I'd like to look at is cable, sterling against the US dollar. A small bullish white soldier here yesterday and another case of a pullback up from the recent bearishness. It nevertheless made a new recent low and was at one time less than 50 ticks away from the big picture target X. Now, some actions in the past have heavily dented but not removed the idea that moves, or at least some of the moves during the whole of 2019 so far, are a head and shoulders top with a split head that's formed in the early part of this year. This pattern has the target X in the 123.45 area. Overall, we're still within the tines of the bearish 2019 Andrews pitchfork that's been pointing the way down since May. Yesterday, prices pulled back up over the middle tine support, currently 124.10. Today, we're a steady, a little stronger, but nothing to write home about. The test, as always, will be how the market reacts to the middle time. The next chart I'd like to look at, well that's going to be Euro against Sterling. A new recent high yesterday, but also a possible indecisive spinning top at the height of the market. Today's action so far, not given any further clues at this time. I continue to note how in very recent times we've had the short moving average, currently 89.70, acting as a type of dynamic support. This seems suitable behaviour following on from the rare monthly key reversal up we'd had back in May. The June today action has been the resultant move up. We're also still working our way through the congestion area 89.59 to 90.60, formed back in December 2018, late January 2019. The next chart to look at is the US dollar against the Japanese yen. Now, what I suspected may have been a possible three-day bullish morning star pattern turned out to be false yesterday. It wasn't a perfect one to begin with, and yesterday we had a wannabe bearish dark cloud cover pattern with overtones of a bearish double pattern, which killed off the morning star idea and has led to today's even weaker market. There's also the long-term possibility of a diamond pattern since June. That's not clear yet. We're in free territory below the combined Fibonacci and congestion area based support, now resistance around 107.79. We've only some untested lower time support from a large bullish Andrews pitchfork around 170.54 until the congestion area in the 107 and a quarter area. The final chart I'd like to look at is the Aussie dollar against the US dollar. Now, an interesting chart, an interesting market yesterday, after apparent failure to continue the earlier bullish move higher, the market made an indecisive spinning top below the significant medium moving average resistance, currently 70.17, and the key upper time, currently 70.22. Big bearish December 2018 to the January 2019 shift pitchfork has been running this market for months. Today, we've chosen to move back up and punch through both of these, though not just yet through the parallel downtrend from April. That's currently at 70.39. Now, as I've pointed out before, we have closed over this upper time before, but we've pulled back down. So keep watching out, especially towards the closes. Please remember that I've said in the past, this pitchfork will carry on working until it doesn't. In the meantime, good trading.